All right, summer is here, lockdowns are being lifted, and it kind of just feels like it's it's GoPro season or like, like action camera season. Like we're all out doing things where now we want to film them with a GoPro or an Osmo Action or Insta360. And you you go and you you get whatever camera you want to use as your action camera, but but then the question becomes, what stick are you gonna get? Because there's a billion choices. And I've used I've used most of them. These are the ones that I've kept. Some of them I've just thrown in the trash because they were terrible, but these are what I've kept. Today we're gonna walk through all of these, kind of what they are, what they do, and, and I'm gonna tell you guys the two that I actually reach for. I actually reach for these two on like a regular basis, and they're actually, they're actually two of the cheaper stick tripod options. Before we jump into that though, hit the like button if you would, and a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Cuts Cuts Clothing again. Their support makes videos like this possible for you guys, and, and they just make super dope shirts. So much so that my dad was in town, my mom and dad came in town last week to meet our daughter, Penny, and we, we met up at a pizza shop called Pizza Port in San Diego, and I walk in and my dad goes, Wow, hey, hey son, yeah, that shirt looks really great on you. Like really fits you really well. <laughs> I don't think my dad's ever complimented me on my shirt before. So yeah, well done, Cuts. And he's he's right, like they they just fit right. They fit, I pretty much, my closet now is just Cuts shirts and Be A Good Human shirts. It's pretty much all I own now. And a Morgan Lee shirt thrown in there. But if you guys want more compliments on your shirts, shoot at the first link in the description, shoot over to CutsClothing.com, use code David Manning at checkout and get 15% off of your order. Yeah. Thanks, Cuts. You guys rock. All right, so onto the sticks, onto, onto kind of what you're gonna use to either hold your, your action camera or, or pop it on some kind of stick to hold it out in front of you. Here's everything I use and, and I've kept. Uh, I guess some I don't, I don't use so much anymore. The first one, first up here, is one that I used to always recommend. I, I almost always recommended the GoPro three-way mount. And the reason at the time especially was it was really, really useful in multiple ways. So you could just use it as a handle and then you could, you could stretch it out and you can kind of do this curved thing as like a selfie stick. And then out of the bottom, you would unscrew this tripod and flip it around. And now it's a, it's a tripod thing, kind of wibbly wobbly, but you know, still worked. This tripod is pretty much only good on flat surfaces. So if we went for a hike somewhere and I wanted to put this on a rock, put it on a rock and it would just be just off and then the, the camera is crooked so we couldn't take a, a normal shot. There's no ball head up here. It just does this. So if it's crooked this way, then you just have a crooked shot. And GoPro has come out with a new version of this called the three-way 2.0 grip. They solved that issue by putting a little ball head on top. So it does now have a ball head, but now the new one is $70 for this thing. So I, I haven't bought the new one and I really don't use this pretty much at all anymore. Although I used to recommend it to everybody. And then next up is a, a couple of smaller GoPro specific or action camera specific. They've got the, the little feet mounts. This is the PGY Tech. Again, kind of just a, a grip and then it extends and that extension has the, the grip becomes feet. And I do like this this one, it works, but again, if you're on a crooked surface at all, then you have a crooked shot and it's on a ball head. It just, the GoPro can just do this. I got this one because it was really cheap and really compact, but this is the Ulanzi one. Same thing, it doesn't get nearly as tall and the feet do that. And same thing, it just kind of tips forward and backwards. But again, without, without a ball head on top, ah, you're just gonna end up with a bunch of crooked shots. There we go. That's nice. Also kind of in that category is the is the new grip by New Bear. This is the floating tripod that I love. If I'm going, if I'm gonna be like wake surfing behind a boat or maybe doing something like that, I'm gonna go for this thing because this can float any of these action cameras. So whether I'm going with the GoPro, the Osmo Action or the X2, this will float it. So if I drop it in the water, this thing floats upside down. There's a little red bobber in the water and I can spot it when we circle the boat back around. I go, there it is. I, ideally though, you just don't drop your, your thing in the water. But it's nice knowing that if you do, you have this and it also becomes a tripod and it also extends up further. There we go. 
Again though, big problem with the new bear is no ball head on top. So again, kind of same same issue. Uh, also for the floating ones, I go with this guy a lot. This is the Go Pole. Go Pole Bobber, I think it's called. You can find these super cheap on Amazon though. There's much cheaper versions than Go Poles. But the general idea is just a floating grip. It's got a wrist strap, so if we're doing something like we, we get to Lake Powell and we want to jump off a cliff or something like that, holding onto this thing with a wrist strap, I pretty much know like I'm not going to lose my action camera. Although the last few times I've done that, I have used the this one because it was cooler to get the shot like further out from me and I just I just held on real tight. <laughs> That's a great one for just any water in general. After that over here, uh, another another kind of go-to that, that I've used a lot in the past and I just haven't found myself using as often recently is just a little mini Gorilla Pod. It's just one of the, the small ones and it comes with a quarter 20 on top. So you do need a little GoPro adapter, but you just pop the GoPro adapter on there. Then we get our camera on there. And once that's mounted, I, I have a handle that I can walk around with my GoPro with. But now with this Gorilla, I mean, like all Gorilla products, you can mount this in like really crazy spots, like mount it around a tree or like on a pole and then angle your GoPro in just really strange spots that you obviously can't do with any sort of tripod device. Okay, now onto some poles. The, the pole that I used to recommend, I still recommend it. It's still a great pole. This is the, the UK Pro pole for that guy 54 hd and it is it's the longest pole that i have so it's super super long look how tall it is it's like up to my nipples <laughs> but it's super long good the kind of problem with using that though in like a GoPro or an Osmo action scenario is that the longer the pole is, the more you have to have this kinked down to get yourself in the shot so if the pole hang on all right, so if the pole is short like this, then to get myself in frame, I only have to, to kind of angle the camera a little bit, right? Cause, Cause there it is. But if the camera's way out here, then no matter how far I put my arm down, I've really got to kink the camera like almost flat to the pole to be able to get myself in the shot. And, and that means that in the shot, there's just a huge black pole going like right there, right in the middle of your shot is the pole. So it is, I mean, it's super useful. It's a really good pole if you need extension. If you want a lot of extension, it's awesome. The, the 360 pole that I use for almost everything is the Insta360 Invisible Selfie Stick. It's kind of one of those twist styles. It's also quite long. It's actually like shockingly long for how compact it gets. So when it's fully compacted, I mean, you can see the difference here. This is way smaller, really easy to like throw in your backpack, bring a couple of them on a trip just in case you break one. And and honestly, I use this pole for so much now because I use the X2 for so much now. So because I this is like kind of my go to action camera now, I pretty much just set these two up like this and it almost lives on this pole. And then I'll do things like I'll bring in the, the Manfrotto Pixie and because the pole has a quarter 20 at the bottom of it. And now now I have a tripod that also has a ball head built into the tripod. So if I get on something unlevel like this, I can still just ball head it over and dink, it it works. Now you might be saying, but, but the Insta360, it comes with something similar to the Pixie. It comes with this bullet time grip if, if you want it. And the bullet time grip is good because you screwed on there and it does give you a tripod, but there's no ball head built into the tripod. There's no, obviously no ball head on the stick. So any crooked surface, now you have a crooked shot and it actually swivels like really smoothly on the handle. So then you could put the camera in slow motion and you like hold it over your head and you're like, whoa. <laughs> I don't ever use it, <laughs> but you could use it if you brought this Wow. If you brought this handle with you everywhere. I don't. The other reason I bring this with me everywhere is because it's a quarter 20 and it's just a good tripod by itself. Like any camera that I'm using, even my big one, I could put on here just as like a small, quick and easy tripod. Or I could just take the, the GoPro adapter bit that goes from quarter 20 to GoPro. I could put that on there and just mount the camera straight. So these two, 
kind of are like one in my bag and both really useful. Uh, then there's this really shockingly cheap one. I think it's just like 23 or $24 from Ulanzi. And this guy has got the tripod feature bank like that. It's a quarter 20 on top. It extends up like this, decently high. And then it's actually got a really good ball head on top. So it has a full ball head that can go into, into 90 degree horizontal mode. So if I had, hang on, get the adapter on here. All right, so now action camera is on there like that, a fairly compact device. You can kind of kink it a little bit and just have like a small one like this, just kind of more of a handle grip type thing. And then I can extend it out, bend it a little bit more with that ball head. And now, now I've got this here, decently far out, honestly. And then the whole thing can go into that tripod mode. So then I can go bink like this, and I have a full ball head that not only can tilt a little bit, but that can go full vertical if I'm trying to do something for Instagram or TikTok or something like that. I can get this all the way over here and boom, lock it off. So for action cameras or smaller cameras at all, because again, it's just quarter 20, so I could put the ZV-1 on here, I could put my phone mount on there. You can do a lot with this little tiny tripod that acts like a bigger tripod. I think that's it. I think that's all the sticks that I use. Hang on. All right, beautiful. These are all the sticks, grips, poles that I use on a pretty regular basis. But again, there's two of them that, that I pretty much always have in my bag at all times. And, and they're the best. They're what I think you should get. Before I tell you though, we're gonna do today's diaper shout outs. If you guys don't know already, anything you buy on the merch shop this month, well, just during June, so you've got like six days left, you get a shout out on the channel because yeah, we have two kids in diapers this month and wow, it's super helpful. All right, first up is Daniel Mendoza in Carlsbad, California. You're like right down the street. I do so many of these videos in Carlsbad. Thank you, Daniel. Alex Lira in Lakewood, California. You're also pretty close. Keith Tanell in Sacramento, California. Keith, you're not so close. Nathan Balash in Haines City, Florida. Sue Bauman from Hudsonville, Michigan. What's up, Sue? John Gogitz from Fredericksburg, Pennsylvania. Nick Sayer, Harmony, Rhode Island. I think you might be the first t-shirt to go to Rhode Island. Andrew Dempsey from Morier Field, Australia. Guys, I love that. Thank you, Andrew. Glenn Cope from Backlift, Texas. I've never heard of Backlift, but sounds lovely. Peter, hmm. Peter, Peter, Peter. Peter Mjolberg? Mjolberg? Moberg? Peter Moberg from Horton, Norway. Yeah, buddy. Thanks, Peter. I also don't know that your name is properly Peter. It might be like Petter. It's, there's two T's. It's P-E-T-T-E-R. Either way though, Thanks, man. That's awesome that you got some merch in Norway. We got Steve Short from Mineral Point, Missouri. Thank you, Steve. BC Ackman from Istanbul, Turkey. First merch order to ever go to Turkey. Thank you, BC. That's so rad. Seriously, the, the international ones break my brain. Michael Lagman from Mesa, Arizona. What's up, Michael? Jim Kaczynski, Palm City, Florida. I told you so many people from Florida. Kevin Parker from Spokane, Washington. Thank you, Kevin. Okay, now two that I always have with me. The two that I recommend more than anything else that's in this pile, anything else I've found on the internet. These two pole tripod thingy-bobbers, uh, it's what I think you should have this summer. Okay, here they are. Number one is the Insta360 pole. Now, the reason I go with this one so often is because again, super compact to start and then you twist it, rip, very long. Like it's, I wish I could, I, I'll put the length on the screen here because I don't know the length off the top of my head, but I just know very long. It's the one that I use for almost anything 360 you've ever seen on this channel. But just like with all these other ones, because it has a quarter 20 mount on there, I can still take an adapter for a normal action camera, pop it on there, and I could use this as my, as my stick, just using like this. And then if I wanted to go into like ball head mode, I bring in this Manfrotto Pixie, I pop it on the bottom here. And now we have the extension stick 
We have the tripod with ball head on the bottom. I can maneuver it this way, I can maneuver it this way, all to get the exact shot, and then boom, I'm in place. And then the other really useful feature, obviously, is that I can take out the Insta360 stick and clink that down just to the bottom if I need like a lower shot, or I just wanna walk around somewhere and have like a smaller little piece on me. I just have this on a tripod like that, and then when I wanna pick it up and, and turn it into just a handle, it's perfect for that. And, and really and truly, these are the two, I'll, I'll say, I'll say these are the two plus this guy. I have reached for this a lot just because it's kind of a blend between, between these two. It's kind of, it's kind of taking the best of both worlds from here and it's put it into here. So if I know I don't need something super long, the Ulanzi MT-16 is a really great little like small, again, I think it's like 24 bucks. You've got a ball head on there and it extends decently long. Nowhere near, again, this thing's extension, which is just ridiculous for how small it then gets. And then again, if for some reason you just don't need this much height, but you like the all the features that this would offer you, then I would say the Ulanzi MT-16. So these are your two options. Uh, yeah, that's it. I hope this helps you guys out. I hope you guys, if you have a GoPro, you have an Osmo Action, you have an Insta360, whatever action camera you've chosen for your summer adventures, hopefully one of these setups will will do the trick for you. Yeah, this one this one pretty much lives with me. This this goes in my bag pretty much everywhere. For sure, for sure my preferred setup. Uh, hit that like button if you would. It is super, super helpful for this video. Links to everything are in the description below and I will, uh, I'll see you guys later.